Welcome to part two of my modern CGC submission unboxing. That was awkward to say. Did I say those words in the right order? My CGC unboxing of a modern submission. I don't know. Probably should have practiced that beforehand. But I'm going to go through the last 13 books here. The first 12 books were so unbelievably awesome that I feel like this second video is going to be a bit of a disappointment. But we're going to get into it and see how it goes. So come along with me. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. And we're going to look at some goddamn comic books. Welcome to Swarm of Comics. I'm your handsome and humble host, Randy, and we are going to do part two of this unboxing. Um, part one was pretty spectacular. Um, we're going to see what's in um, what's in the rest of the box because I can't possibly be that good. And again, I'll repeat this from the first one. I don't have any idea. I'm pulling these books out going, oh yeah, I forgot. I know that there's maybe another Deadpool in there, limited series, but who really gives a shit about that? But anyway, I'm going to go through these, bring in the Black Terror along with me, and let's see how the rest of this goes. So I'm going to fish around in the box here because I'm not looking. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, guys, what do we got here? Oh, Omega Men. Now, this, as you guys know, is the first appearance of Lobo, who everybody's hoping Jason Momoa <clears throat> plays in a movie or an upcoming anything, um, because Aquaman is such a turd, um, and he might be perfect for this role. This is, of course, when he was in the purple and orange leotard, and he was actually teamed up with another guy named Bedlam, who looked like a cowboy with a weird kinky mask. This book is, <clears throat> excuse me, not a high grade. I've owned it since the 1980s. I love Omega Men, the whole series. I actually have an original piece of artwork from this issue um, that I have framed with Lobo. Uh, in the Omega Men. It is uh, on that DC card stock that was really large that they used to draw on. Um, maybe I'll do a little video and show some of that. So I'm not expecting this to be a high grade. If it could be a seven, I would be happy. But I didn't grade this for monetary purposes or investment purposes. I just did it because it was my copy and I wanted a slab and I wanted to display it. So let's read it as, oh, a 9.4. Man, Tom Anderson at the Silver Age Collector on Instagram and um, whatnot. Must have done an amazing job. It's a little crunched down the corner here. Kind of just see that. Now, that being said, a 9.4 is still not worth anything. It have to be a 9.8. These were on Baxter paper, heavy duty cards, you know, heavy duty paper. Um, people didn't read these a lot. They were more of an adult book. It wasn't like a kid rereading it 50 times. Um, so I, I think this on the CGC census, the majority of them, like 50% of them or more are 9.8s. So needless to say, I probably paid a dollar for it and then to get it pressed and graded. So I probably am breaking even on that, but I did not expect it to be that nice. Tom did a great job on this. Thank you, Tom Anderson. So looks pretty good. Also Tron. Oh God, I love the Tron movie and Tron toys when I was a kid. I think the video game stunk, but that's a nice flashback right there. So, all right. First book, 9.4. Very nice, pleasant surprise. Let's see what's next. Fishing around in here. What are you guys doing today? Anything good? Anything fun? Yeah. Looking at comic books, watching comic videos. Oh, Amazing Spider-Man 252. Now, you might remember if you've watched... <clears throat> my other videos, uh, I think I have a video on it. Yeah, I have this graded, I bought graded. This is my original copy. I bought newsstand, newsstand edition, ties with Marvel team up 141 for first appearance of the black costume. 
Amazing Fantasy 15 cover homage. This is not in killer condition. This has definitely been read. I have owned this book since 1984. And the reason I bought a graded copy was because I knew that this was pretty beat up and used. Um, so let's see what it got. A 9.4. I, I have a feeling the one that I bought was a 9.4. Maybe it was a 9.6. I did not realize that that was going to be that good a condition. I remember buying this book and I remember buying this book. And I might've mentioned this when I talked about it before is that secret wars is where he got the costume. Secret wars, number eight, which was a fantastic series. And I loved that when I was a kid, the problem was secret wars was so delayed in coming out. This came out first and Spider-Man comes out of a cave. Are there caves? in Central Park, like, you know, time warps, or whatever, space warps out of a cave. And he's like, wow, oh my goodness, I got this costume from uh, Battle World and Secret Wars 8. But I have no idea what he's talking about because Secret Wars 8 had not come out yet. That's why this is tied for the first cover. So amazing surprise here, a 9.4. Maybe I should have looked at this condition of this first before I went and bought another one. But Nostalgia reasons. This was my book I bought and I've kept ever since. So I love this book. Everybody loves this book. Everybody loves this book. It has good value, even though there are like 3 million of them. I mean, they cranked these out when they knew that they were going to put this new costume on. It was like the death of Superman. There was a billion of them, X-Men number one, but we still buy them. Still, they're still worth money. So great score there. All right, guys. That's too good. So, so far, this box is pretty good. Even if you aren't a comic fan, you know, you know that costume from the Venom movie and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully you're enjoying it. Now, ah, Spawn falls into the same category as Death of Sp Superman and, you know, X-Men number one. There's eight billion of these. I bought this at New England Comics when it came out in 1992. This book is not in amazing condition. It is probably, it's got a ding up the top there. It, it It's um, another one that falls in the category of, I wanted this graded because it was mine and I want to display it and it's for nostalgia reasons. Hey, I bought that book. I remember when it all the buzz was there and it came out. So what did it get? Oh, 9.8. Still not super expensive, but that, man, Tom, I don't know what you do. Maybe CGC swapping out my books or something because that is completely unexpected. I'm sorry I'm looking at these instead of the camera because I can't believe that that's a 9.8. Again, not a super expensive book, but but pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here, guys. All right. Oh, <laughs> Futurama Comics, feisty first issue. Um, I didn't even remember I had this. Of course, I love Futurama. Hopefully all you nerds Love Futurama as well, and bought this comic book. It might have even been in a plastic, like the first issue of The Simpsons. I don't really know, but I wanted to get it graded. Don't know if it's worth any money. Don't really care. I love that cover, of course. Beautiful book. Uh, don't know what it's going to grade at. 9.6. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't a 9.8, because it looks exactly like the other books. But I'm not complaining. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Pin up by Matt Grenning on back cover. <laughs> Pretty cool. So fantastic. New drama number one. Love that. Nine six. Killing it. That's pretty good. You guys pumped? Are you guys pumped? I'm pumped. I'm having fun. I've talked about this before, is that sometimes when I watch videos and they get super excited and they get these good grades. I don't know. I, maybe I get jealous. Maybe I'm just like, wish that was were my books. And I don't want them to get bad grades. I don't want them to do bad, although it is more entertaining video. But, you know, maybe people are going to watch this and not be happy for me. I don't know. I'll see. Oh, New Mutants 98. By the way, <laughs> remember I told you about four or five years ago, I sold like 20 or 30,000 comic books. I was digging through them a little bit. Uh, I know I had Ultimate Fallout number four in there, by the way, but that wasn't a popular book at the time. <laughs> but I found this in there. I didn't even have it in a bag or a board. Um, uh, I'm not even sure I care about Deadpool. 
I've said that before. The Merc with a mouse, no oh, big deal, you know. But um, but this issue is in pretty good shape. It's a little fudged at the bottom, a little wavy at the top, but all in all, in pretty good condition. So let's see what it got. I have no expectations on this. It cost one dollar, and that's what I paid for it. Would have been nice if it was a newsstand, but I wonder it wasn't going to newsstands. Oh, 9.8. All right. Oh, God, I'm doing what everybody does in their videos. 9.8. Wow, 9.8 of that. That's pretty good. 1991. New Mutants. Okay, this box is killing it, too. 9.8 is very good. For those who are curious, most books can't get past a 9.8. A 9.9 .9 is if you had a book that came right directly from the printer. No human hands ever touched it, and it was absolutely in mint condition. And a 10.0 is almost impossible. I don't know what criteria I'd have to read the CGC book, but I'm not sure. I mean, this looks pretty good. I'm not sure what would make, what would push something to a 9.9 .9 or a 10.0. I feel like it's that college professor everybody talks about or that high school uh, teacher that always says they don't believe in A's because there's always room for improvement. You know, they don't give out A's or A pluses or something like that. I feel like CGC does that. So awesome book. New Mutants number 98, first appearance of Deadpool. All right, a 9.8, guys. This is a good submission. So this, this is good, exciting, must-see TV. All right, comic nerds and nerdettes. What do we got here? Oh, X-Men. I think I just threw this in. I don't remember the significance of uh, Hellfire Club. I don't think it was any. Oh, first solo Wolverine cover or something like that. First solo Wolverine cover. Like, they're really reaching when that's what your criteria is. It doesn't even say that on there, but that's what it is. Um, I felt like this could probably get an eight. Um, it's wavy at the top. Spine is okay, though. One tick. So I was hoping that this would get an eight. Not a super expensive book, but a cool book. I'll take a 9.4. I swear to you that I wasn't like, oh, boy. It's probably going to get a seven. But in my head, I was like, oh. I hope it's a nine. I really could see that this being an eight. It's got sort of color rub and staining on the back here. Somebody was in a good mood the day they graded my books. I think they felt so bad because they made me wait for the entire month to get them back. 9.4 on that X-Men. That was a good one. Very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Oh, this is definitely not a high grade book. This definitely falls into the category of I'm just grading this because it's my book. Um, I didn't even have a board on this. I can see that it's not great grade. I'm not, yeah, it's got two, three non-color breaking spine ticks right there, but that's okay. First appearance of Patch, Wolverine's first regular series. The back cover is better than the front cover. I'm gonna try and not look at the grade there. Like that should have been the front cover. Like how fantastic is that? No offense, but that cover kind of stinks. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with the orange and the pink letters and stuff like that. But anyway, what do we get? 9-4. Way better than I thought. I would have thought an 8. Same as that last book. 9.4. Not an expensive book. Another book that you'd need in a 9-8 to really be worthwhile. Oh, yeah, that's pretty crunched up in that corner. But Tom must, you can see it right there. Tom did a great job on this. To get a 9.4 on that? I know these are modern books and they're better quality paper and they're just not as old and we took better care of them. But honestly, I, you know, that, that's, that's going pretty good so far. All right. All right, next book. Amazing Spider-Man 301. Silver Sable appearance. Nine six. I didn't have any big dramatic buildup for that. It looked like a nine six. I don't know if I don't even know if this book is worth anything. I don't. Does anybody care about three hundred one? But anyway, I bought this at the store. This was my copy. I bought this at uh, New England Comics. You keep hearing me talk about that, but that's kind of the first store I went to and grew up with. But yeah. This is in pretty good shape. 9.6. Super happy with that. From my personal collection, staying in my personal collection. 
Bowls. Pretty excited about that so far. What do we got here next? Digging these out fast, guys. Oh, 298. First Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. First appearance of Eddie Brock in Cameo. And most importantly, Chance. Doesn't this look exactly like 299? Like, I feel like I should dig 299 out. That always drove me, drove me crazy. But anyway, cool book. I bought this. 75 cents back in 1988. Awesome book. Came in as a 98. That, that doesn't seem realistic. Okay. I'm not turning down a 98. Somebody was having an awesome day at CGC. I should buy them something like a fruit basket or something nice. Wow, a 9.8 on that. I mean, that, that, that could mean it's worth $30. I don't know. Do we care how much they were? They're just cool. I'm going to have to have change my background to a whole bunch of these awesome, amazing Spider-Man here. Although this is pretty hard background to beat. This was from my other video with my top 10 Silver Age books. So I thought I'd put them down there. And I think this is most of them. I had a few more because there's only eight. I can count. But uh, awesome, more fun. Awesome, Superman number nine. More fun, 69. <laughs> Uh, Jumbo Comics, Detective 55, Ghost Rider number one, very underrated. Wiz Comics, Action Comics. Action Comics number 24 in a 7.0. That is like, that's top of the, that's top of the, top of the heap for me, I think. All right, but, wow, that was a 98, that was a 92. What do we got here next? X-Men number 95. Death of Thunderbird, third appearance of the new Max Men, plus Count Nefaria and the Animen appearance. This is in decent shape, but it's probably like a seven. It's got uh, tanning on the corner here. Its uh, spine is pretty rough and it's a little wrinkled. And it looks like, yeah. Oh yeah, the back is kind of a mess. Let's see what this one gets. Six. All right. That, I thought a seven, but six is probably pretty fair. That's okay. I I mean, I threw this in because I had 94 and I thought I'd throw in 95. So, plus it's, you know, Thunderbird and everything like that. But it looks great. Doesn't look great for six. Like, even if you look up this up close, you know, you would say, can't tell if those are spine ticks down the bottom or part of the artwork on whoever's face that is. But they're probably, probably, probably creases. But very cool. Can't be disappointed in that. Could not be disappointed in that. Guys, we got that New Mutants 98 and a 9.8. Oh, unbelievable. J. Joe number one. I probably didn't buy that this that long ago. I don't know if I had this for very long. This might have been a book. So I first bought this book at a comic convention in um, Manchester, New Hampshire. And I had, in 2016, and I had Larry... Hama sign it. I already had this copy, but it was at home. And I love that signature. But of course, I can't submit it to um, CGC because they'll just say that it's, you know, it's a green label. So I might submit it to CBCS. So this was just a nice, cool number one issue that I had and uh, thought I'd get it graded because G.I. Joe was part of my youth. G.I. Joe took over for me from Star Wars. So, you know, Star Wars was, I saw it in 77. Then in 1980, Empire Strikes Back, and then 83 was Return of the Jedi. But, you know, when G.I. Joe came out in 82, 81, 82, I mean, it was right in our wheelhouse and absolutely loved it. And the comic book and then the cartoon came a couple of years later, I think in 84, something like that. So um, this was a big impact when we were kids. So it doesn't matter what the grade is. It just matters that it means a lot to me and it's my my copy to get graded. 9-6. Cool. I'll repeat what I said about that Wolverine number one. Not really worth anything in a 9.6. You, you need them in a 9.8. And there's a lot of 9.8s out there. This is a beautiful book. I don't know what stopped this from being a 9.6. If this was a big high-end book, I would probably crack it and resubmit it. There's not a single spine tick on it. But somebody smarter than me knows how to grade. So 9.6. Awesome. Beautiful. I mean, that's that's near mint. That's beautiful. Nine six. How, you can't complain about that, guys. All right, just a couple more left. Uh, yeah, just like two or three left. 
looking at my dog. Sandman. Um, Sandman number one. Not an amazing copy. I remember buying it when it came out in 1989, uh, when the Vertigo line came out. Um, I bought this and I bought a couple of other books, um, but I was never a, a huge fan after the first. I probably have the first 12 issues or something. Um, I even have issue number eight and it looks like I put it, somebody put a drink on it and then made a drink mark on it. And then maybe there was like condensation. It spread out and completely ruined issue eight. Um, my buddy Tom is going to sell it for like a dollar and a whatnot auction. I gave it to him yesterday. So I don't know why we're having uh, focusing problems. So not a huge book that I'm invested in, um, but it is pretty cool to have Sandman number one. Um, I would love it if this was an eight. If this is an eight. Let's see what it gets. Nine four. All right, cool. Sandman number one and a nine four. A little different for me. Everything seems to be Spider-Man and X-Men um, you know, GI Joe and stuff like that. But how about we have a little bit of, you know, Neil Gaiman here, a 9.4 on that one. Very cool. Um, yeah, this was my copy. I bought this when it was new, 1989. Very, very, very long time ago. For you, those of you watching this video in the far future, hundreds of years from now, it was a very long time ago. And hello, future. I hope you got your flying cars. Two bucks left. Oh, X-Men 101. I have two copies of this. This looks like the better one. Um, first, uh, or origin or first appearance of Phoenix. Also, Black Tom Cassidy and Juggernaut make an appearance. I'm not really sure why that's relevant and you would add that. Like, this is the first appearance of Phoenix and you're also like, but Black Tom Cassidy's in here. It's not even either of their first appearances. They're just there. Who cares? Why would you waste any time on that? It's a newsstand, but in 1976, most all of them are newsstands, so I don't think that affects anything. I actually think I hate that that's a variant, but whatever. It is what it is. So let's look at the first one um, and see what this is. 9.2. That's pretty good. My guess is the other one's going to be like a 6. Um, but I submitted them both. Why not? I had them. I'm not even, I think I, I bought one a long time ago, forgot I had it, and then bought another one. So very cool. I'll take a 9.2 in this all day long beautiful book oh god that's fantastic all right last one is probably the same book that'll make it easy yeah same book oh yeah this one's all beat up it's a 4.5 <laughs> it wasn't even a six there was no there was no suspense there but what's wrong with the 4.5 someone might, might want that oh yeah this is this is dirty baby oh and it's got Shipping, ooh, creases everywhere. I'm not even sure this deserved to be a 4.5. I wish you could see creasing down the corner. Oh, tire crease across there. A, re a subscription crease up the middle. Oh, I don't care. 4.5. I probably paid nothing for it. Probably bought it out of the out of the bins for a buck or two bucks back in the day. So I think that is it. The box is empty. We got through this. We got some awesome X Men. Some awesome, amazing Spider Man. Some amazing grades, amazing grades. Look at these. By the way, if anybody's interested in a 4.5 of X-Men 101, let me know. Because um, I'm not sure I need a 4.5 if I have a 9.2. So that's uh, fantastic stuff to add to the collection. Uh, comment and let me know what you think of the books. Um, uh, if there's any things that, are, that you love in here, or there's anything that's a grail, or anything you think that... Uh, um, I don't know what else I was going to say. It doesn't matter. You know, you think about all these things. Just do do stuff. Who cares? Um, but I appreciate you guys joining me. I hope you had fun to this video. Make sure you watch both of them. I've got a couple more videos coming up of some unboxing. They're going to be so disappointing. I've got some, not they're unboxings, I guess. They're just mailings. There's nothing super duper, but that's going to seem so pale in comparison to this unboxings. This this was awesome. Um, I'm super excited. I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're either super excited for me or you're you're bitter and you're upset and you're gonna still watch them anyway just to be me mad at me either way we're having fun together guys but anyway i'm randy from swarm of comics thank you for hanging out with me we'll see you next time bye